What is going on guys, it's you here, bringing you another review on Black Clover. This episode, honestly, was a pretty good, I did enjoy it, however, I felt like there was a lot more talking, but I think it was necessary, and though I'm not so used to seeing them talk as much as they did, like I said, I think that was all necessary dialogue. I did like in the beginning how we still kind of pick up with what happened in the aftermath of the last battle, having... You know, they're all reflecting, especially uh, a solid, you know, taking that beating, just saying impossible. And that little moment between, uh, you know, and Charmy. Of course, Charmy was just loving that fact that, you know, is like accepting her dessert, which honestly looked pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. I really would have enjoyed trying something my, myself. Of course, this provokes jealousy and he doesn't see it the way she does. But it's still funny regardless. So I did enjoy seeing that little moment between them. But then we get to see how I want to say the Zerks team or Team Zerks. I hate having to use that name. I want to use his real name. But um, I, I do find it funny how they have like their own little like strategy meeting. And I do say that in quotation marks because we have him basically saying, you know, how he's, you know, trying to do this this plan on how he's going to be doing all the work and all the stuff that he's been doing and they're not really coordinating they're not really working together him and asta just kind of bicker with each other and of course mosa doesn't really do anything she just enjoys the spectacle that is watching asta kind of be all asta like i guess that would be the best way to say it and you know just watching him like she always does it that was kind of funny but i didn't i didn't enjoy however like seeing little parts of xerxes past you know kind of being part of all of this i think at certain moments asta was probably getting to him and what he was saying made him reflect on certain things and so maybe that's why we got those little fragments of his past but they all have their own kind of agenda. He does say he doesn't want to mingle with the royals, which was something I guess has to do with his past. Uh, I guess he has a really bad experience with them. Uh, and though Asta does remind him, like, look, we're doing this for them. Like, we're, we're, we're trying to be selected. He doesn't really care. Uh, but we've been knowing that since the beginning. But I did enjoy seeing that. And then we have, on the other hand, we have Magna and his team. Uh, and having her like freaking mimosa's brother was annoying in this episode i will say he is like one of the worst characters that i in my opinion like even in real life people i hate narcissistic people that are just all about me 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 like that's annoying and that is super it's even worse in, in, in an anime where a series that you enjoy you see that you just want to hit the character you want to hate him more and he's powerful so it's kind of hard to like just be like ah, you know he's pointless but he's actually very very smart and powerful to a certain degree of course uh but he does get surprised by asta's ability like after the fact that uh like seeing you know zerk's reaction and like everyone else's reaction seeing asta kind of releasing some of the demon mode and like just going out and you know, surprise him with his, like, attack. I thought it was super cool. I don't like the fact that he has that tooth thing. I'm like, uh, I'm like, we have enough of that already. Like, why'd you have to give him that, like, like, tooth? It, it's just a personal thing, guys. I, some people may enjoy it. I don't think it does anything for the, for his design. I don't, I, I don't think it does all that great. But, it is what it is. But, it does surprise him and they kind of have to like retreat and then when they go back into the attack and after hearing that magna himself is a peasant mimosa's brother just kind of like really hates that like this dude is grade a annoying like like seriously magna was just telling him his status you know it's like you know asta's this and so am i you know what's the deal and so he tries to figure out on his own what he can do uh he's like you guys protect and i'll go out and we have him being lured in by asta who we had i guess we kind of saw how zerks and him were making a plan 
on you. Zerx, of course, his attribute is Ash, but he's also a very good, you know, trap specialist and having, you know, him lured in there. So, uh, he does try to lure him in using the traps. He does, you know, try to sense everyone's magic. And he goes for Asta, who I guess he, he's the most annoyed with. And though he does use, like, his own, like, version of Shadow Clone Jutsu, he does get those clones kind of destroying the traps. And then when he goes in, he actually falls into the pit himself. And he actually is kind of, like, surprised. And when we have Zergs and... Um, Asta kind of above him saying you know you would never have expected you know these lower tier traps because you know we dug it with our sweaty selves basically and so I thought it was funny and kind of cool like these two had you know taken the time to do this kind of trap and something so simple was able to trip him up so that was kind of a, a nice surprise to see that he's actually you know not as smart and that's what I was saying like he's he's intelligent but he's not the brightest crayon so he does end up falling, and then Asta actually is like, I'm sorry I had to do this to Mimosa's big brother, but I gotta knock you out for a few hours, or for a little bit. And of course, he ends up doing so, he uses his swords to kind of like apply pressure, but uh, we did have him trying to like counter it with his flowers, and though it would have worked with anyone else, it wasn't working with Asta's anti-magic, knocking him down. So now a good threat of him is like, or a good threat of that team has been taken out. And now it's up to Sol and Magna going up against these three. So I do enjoy that because now it's opening up to seeing what these guys can do. And I'd love to see an Asta versus Magna. Like these two have m mutual respect for each other. So seeing this would be perfect. I would like to definitely see a match between these two. And see what Sol and Mimosa might do against each other. Not saying the Zerks would be out of the loop. But I'd like to see what these two can do against each other but guys that is it for me hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have leave a like comment down below as always stay safe take care of yourselves and others and i'll catch you later